and we are back so hopefully we can uh, wrap up talking with everyone right here ah the actual scene inquisitor come have a drink to killing a high dragon like warriors of legend yeah, uh, what's this? What exactly am I supposed to be drinking? Maras Lok. What does that mean? It means drink! <laughs> sure. <laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Mm, that little gurgle right before it spat fire and that roar what i wouldn't give to roar like that the way the ground shook when it landed the smell of the fires burning tarsidathan halsam you know kunari hold dragons sacred well as much as we hold anything sacred <laughs> here your turn Oh, what was that Kunari phrase? That thing you just said. You shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be, I will bring myself sexual pleasure later, while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us. I know, right? Mm. Sure, let's drink more. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi, the glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Yeah, so why are the dragons sacred? Why do you think the Kunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more dragony than most people. Hmm, Maybe makes sense. That. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed <sighs> spoke to me. Well, now I feel awkward. When you put it like that, I'm worried I killed one of your gods or something. Nah, one of Tavinta's gods, maybe. They worship dragons, right? Kill the <laughs> shit out of them all you like. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. Sure. I'll, with the two, let, be, let it be the three. <coughs> nice. Two dragons. <laughs> mm. Yeah, two good fights. To finding the biggest, baddest things in the world and showing them that we're badder. Anan. Oh. Are you important? Who the heck are you? Inquisitor. And you are? The bartender, Cabot. Just the bartender? You were expecting... Nothing, I guess? I don't know. I suppose nothing. I am a bartender. Like my grandfather before me. And my father before him. 
A lineage destined to draw me in. Is that better? Kinda. Actually, yes. Yes, it is. Of course. Refreshments await yon kings of destiny. Yeah, how's the morale? What's the current mood? Hope. Hmm. And rumors? What's the word out there? There's a vigil for the dead later. I'll be closed. Well, that's it. As you were, Inquisitor. Yes, yes, I know. I will uh, get this uh, wyvern for sure. But first, I want to be done with all of the uh, talks around here. Just to make sure real quick. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Qun, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. Yeah, I agree with that. I hate politics. You got Agri a crappy yeah. job then, boss. You're doing good work, boss. I like how this Inquisition is coming. Next time you're free, why don't you come grab a drink? I'll introduce you to the Chargers. Yeah, what about uh, Saharan? more about Saharan? It was a damn ugly place. Only getting uglier when I left. Between the Fog Warriors, the Talvashoth, my people, and the Vince, you were lucky to go a day without blood. <sighs> what do you want to know? Hmm. So what's the Fog Warriors? What were the Fog Warriors like? They were the worst of the rebels. They trained for stealth attacks. They made this fog. I never saw any mages, so I figured it was alchemy, not magic. They were almost invisible in it. I'd be on patrol in the market square. The fog would roll in, and before I knew it, half my squad dead without a sound. Well, you sound impressed. It almost sounds like you admire them. They didn't use poison. They didn't hurt civilians, and they were damn good fighters. You have to respect that. Plus, they hit the Vince as hard as they hit us. Hearing some terrified magister scream, My slaves! Where are my slaves? In the fog, always put a smile on my face. Hmm. And Talvashoth? Tell me about the Talvashoth. When Kanari can't handle the fighting in Saharan, or lose faith in the Kuhn, they go rogue. They flee into the wilderness and turn into bandits. Attacking everyone. They're vicious. Savage. You look at them and you can see why my people needed the tune to stay civilized. So you're not Talvasha? Isn't that what you did, though? Hey, when I burned out, I didn't go rogue. I reported in and went where the Ben Hasrath sent me. I'm doing my job. Serving the Qun out here. I'm not some bandit. I am nothing like them. Understood. And to, to uh, Saharan. What are things like for the natives of Saharan? I remember one guy. He made these things. Fish wrapped in thin bread. Nice guy. Talk to him every morning. So, one time I'm asking about his bad back. And I see he's nervous. Trying to tell me something with his eyes. Next thing I know, his assistants draw knives and come at my team. The rebels had forced him to poison my food. So, what happened? And then? I'd seen how nervous he was. So I hadn't eaten anything. We killed the rebels. I lost two men to the poison, another to knife wounds. My friend who made the fish wraps died with a knife in his throat. Close quarters fight. He was caught in the middle. That is what things are like for the natives of Sahara. Oh, I see. And the Tevinter? Tell me about the Tevinter people you fought. The Vince sent forces to Sahara every autumn. Guess they didn't like the summer heat. We had some good fights on the beaches, standing in knee-high water foaming red with blood ships on fire around us the cities were worse free bit of advice don't let the inquisition forces get suckered into urban combat so what's so bad about Tevinter? why do you hate Tevinter forces so much what makes them so bad it's not their armies it's their spies they bloodied saharan year round killing loyalists supporting rebels alam had no city administrator Nobody would accept the position. The last four who held it died inside a year. Trying to conquer a country is one thing. Making it so nobody can live there? A 
that just screws everyone. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. All right, well, the... Good to see you, boss. Yeah, we wanted to get drinks. You said we should go get some drinks and meet your company. Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. Ah, good. We're not drinking alone. How you doing, creme de la creme? Your worship. I'm so glad he has someone new to hit with that joke. Well, it's not so bad. I can think of worse places to go with Chromisius. So can the chief, believe me. He loves his nicknames. Hey, when I was growing up, my name was just this series of numbers. We all give each other nicknames under the cune. They ever wear shirts under the cune, chief? Or do they just run around binding their breasts like that? It's a harness, Krem. Yes, for your pillowy man bosoms. Let me know if you need help binding. You could really chisel something out of that overstuffed look. And the rest of your crew? Who were the others? A lot of the chargers went looking off for stronger drinks. Let's see, who's left? We've got Rocky and Skinner there. And over there are Stitches, Dalish, <laughs> and Grim. Crazy bunch of assholes, but they're mine. Huh. What about you, Rocky? Were you born on the surface, or are you from Orzammar? Orzammar? I got exiled. Stupid noble crap. Mm. Also, I accidentally blew up a bit of the shape rate. Rocky's one of our best sappers. He can take down enemy fortifications faster than a golem. I'm also working on my own version of Kunari Black Powder. I've almost got it. Yeah, you really don't. Mm -hmm. eh, let's, let's just talk. Uh... Why aren't you with your clan? Our keeper thought I should see the world a little. Dalish don't have Templars, so they can't have too many mages in a clan at once. Now, sir, you know I'm not a mage. That'd make me an apostate. You carry a staff, Dalish. It's a bow. A bow with a giant glowing crystal at the tip. Yes, it's for aiming. Old elven trick you wouldn't understand. Hmm. Whichever your blows. What's the story, Grim? Grim, is it? Hmm. <clears throat> Grim doesn't talk much. I'm pretty sure he's the lost king of some small country. Or chieftain. Something like that. Hmm. I see. Stitches? I take it you're the company healer? Yes. First time I ever picked up a sword was when the blight hit Ferelden. Never put it back down. He makes a potion that'll put you right back on your feet after even the toughest fight. It tastes terrible, though. That's because it's a poultice, sir. You're not supposed to drink it. And a Skinner? So, how do you join the charges? Killed some people. Skinner didn't take kindly to nobles testing their new swords on the elves in her alienage. Bull took me in. Now I get paid to kill Shams. This is actually really good behavior for her. She's not marking her territory or anything. That's quite a group, I gotta admit. You really take in anyone, don't you? Anyone who can carry their weight in a fight. And who can put up with your bullshit, Chief? No man can beat the Chargers, cause we'll hit you where it hurts. Unless you know a tavern with loose hearts and looser skirts. For every bloody battlefield will gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds, our horn be pointing up. Thanks for coming by, boss. Glad you could meet some of my team. That was nice. I will say it. Ah, and it gives him actually a good sign. Man, those serving girls are frisky. Ah, the troops. I'd like to hear more about the charges. Always happy to talk about my guys. What do you want to know? Well, uh, your group is diverse. You have people from plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yes, well, when you're in Orle and you look like me, you can't be picky about who you take in. A lot of them got turned away from other companies that didn't want a knife here or a crazy dwarf. Their loss. You get my back in a fight and carry your own weight, hmm. you're good with me. Okay, but how did you start? How did you start the group? It's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. 
I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the Bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. And uh, Fisher? I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. I see. And the Krem? I'd like to know more about Krem. He's a good soldier, and a better second in command. The troops need someone to complain to when I'm being a hard ass. He's good for that. Uh, him being her is not an issue? You don't have any problems with him being a woman? He's not a woman. Look, I've got horns, you've got pointy ears and those freaky big elf eyes. We're probably not the best people to go around deciding what's normal. Krem's a good man. I don't give a nug's ass that it's a little harder for him to piss standing up. Hmm, but you hate Tevinter. You don't have a problem with him being from Tevinter. Nah. But you hate the Vince. Sure, but he's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine, but people... It's too much work to hate them one by one. And you got some amazing um, What are the crazy craziest stories? jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one? <laughs> There's a lot of violence between the nobles here, but that's standard work. The fun stuff is when they party. They always want to impress each other, and that means getting something shiny. We've hunted weavens, fought through caves to find some old magical crap. Even when giant baiting was. Giant baiting? What's giant baiting? So this old guy, hmm. Comte Van Chess, has some kind of a pageant planned. But he needs a giant, which is off in some damn cave. He's got some kind of rare charm to control the giant, but no way he's going into that cave himself. So we go in, kill some spiders, find the giant, and wake it up. It attacks us because of course it does, and we let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. So you let it chase you? That was actually your plan, to let a giant chase you. Yeah, we had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. Long as my guys ahead could clear out the spiders, we were fine. Bad news is the giant spider webs slow you down a bit more than you think. But at least Comte Van Chess got his giant for the pageant. Eh, uh, turned out that charm was a phony. Giant ate the poor guy alive. Ow. It's okay, though. We still got paid. Hmm, good to know. See you later, Bull. Nice talking. Well, at least now I am finally uh, obtaining the uh, interesting dialogues with everyone here. Exalted Plains. Mm, it look it, that, that would mean I'll have to go. Oh. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna. The Duchess. And Carissus. Right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me not to get you mad. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a butt for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. Earwigs, that would stop the ball. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That and Briala being an idiot. The whole thing would have gone different if that little piss up wasn't in the middle. Well, their mistakes made it worse. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots.
Oh, and you still. And you, you, you have a problem. That over there is a full tavern, but everyone's drinking alone. They're all up their own asses about the Inquisition. I can't have fun with everybody whinging, and they'll fall on their swords before Corifinus can push them. I'm thinking pranks. Set a few up, knock a few down. You win or not? Should the Inquisitor do this? I'm the Inquisitor. You know, the leader. Right, they'll never suspect you. What, titles are only for getting away with bad stuff? Let's do something fun. Come on. Why the heck not? When was the last time I was actually having fun instead of doing all of these uh, serious decisions? Lead the way. What, really? Really? <laughs> I knew you were different. Let's go. General Uptight is gone. Have a search about. Find something to mess with and give your soldiers a laugh. What, the desk? Oh, yes. Center of the Empire and all that. What to do? What to do? Hmm. Great. So, what do we do? All right, Sarah. What do you want to do? Thing looks heavy. Don't want to move or break it. I got it. Easy one. Just a slip of something under here. There. Won't notice much, but it's just that little bit wonky. He's so in control that'll piss him royally. I tell one of the soldiers and boom! The general seems like people. And since he works for you, you seem like people. Come on, next one! Okay. Right. Little lady prissy pants. Have a look for something ah. she likes too much. A door. Not just the door. Where she greets every important idiot. Yes. Let's just go all out in it. Well, Sarah, what do you have in mind? Um, <laughs> get a bucket. That looks like is going to be ugly. Classic, yeah? Five minutes of sloppy boss gets you weeks of happy kitchen staff. Except for the one who cleans it up, I suppose. But whatever. Next stop. Oh dear. Locked box. What's that? A locked? No, leave that. Not interested in her hidden things. Not for just a bit of fun. Maybe feed her messenger something gassy? No, birds don't park. But they flap and... Uh, hmm. Who is up there? Uh, run. Go! That was fun. An inquisitor of the people, still remembering you're one of them. If all they got was the Herald stuff, the serious bit, you'd start to sound pretty scary. That works, but not for long. Well, anything to keep us inspired. Whatever it takes. I'd start throwing pies if it kept people inspired. Pies is so good, and Corifinus would never do that. Good thing for you, innit? Because from the bottom, everyone oh, no. up top the sort of seems the same. Anyway, fun time, Inquisitor. You! Ulfric! Oh, you did it! <laughs> Alright, guys. I just want to make sure my audio is not corrupted, so I will be right back. <laughs> 